Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on programmatically adding and deleting worksheets using Excel VBA. I have in this worksheet a column, Worksheets to Add, and another column, Worksheets to Delete. And I have these three names. And I'm going to write code so that when I run the subroutine, I'll get three new worksheets, Worksheet 1, Worksheet 2, and Worksheet 3 and code so that with these three worksheets already in this workbook they will be deleted. So I'm going to start by adding a couple of controls two command buttons. One command button that will run the subroutine that will add the worksheets and another that will delete them. So I'm going to go to developer and I'm going to go into design mode clicking design mode here and under insert you see we have two types of controls form controls and active X controls. I'm going to select an active X control, specifically the command button, and drag command button 1 onto the worksheet and then go back up to insert and select command button and drag command button 2 onto the worksheet. So I'm going to start with the code that will add these three worksheets to this workbook. So while still in design mode, I double click on command button. That brings me to the Visual Basic Editor. You can also get over to this screen using Alt F11. It opens the Visual Basic Editor. I've copied the code that I'll be using, so I'm going to use Control V and paste it in here and go through each line of this code. So the first line of code, we declare four variables, last row, I and C all three as integers, and then WS for worksheet as string. Then we're going to set last row, this variable, to equal the last populated row in column one. So in this particular case, that would be four. So moving back here to the Visual Basic Editor, the code that will select the last populated row is active sheet dot range a1 dot end XL down dot row. Then I want to set the column. In this case, I'm using column A, so I'm going to set this value C to equal 1. And then I have this loop. It's a 4 next loop. 4i equals 2 to last row, so in this case, 2 to 4. ws, the string variable, equals cells i, comma, c dot value. Then worksheets dot add after worksheets worksheets count dot name equals ws so this will add any new worksheets after the worksheets currently in the workbook so the first time this subroutine is executed i will be equal to 2 and ws will equal cells row 2 column 1 so taking a look here that'll be worksheet 1 row 2 column 1 and then that variable name will be added as a worksheet. And this will continue as it loops through all of the values. In this case, worksheet two and worksheet three will also be added. So let's take a look at how this works. I move back to the worksheet. I have these three names already loaded in. I just have this one worksheet in the workbook right now, data. I'm gonna move out of design mode here in the developer ribbon click command button 1 and we have worksheet 1, 2, and 3 all added to this workbook. So now let's take a look at how to delete worksheets that we list here. And of course I have these set so it matches the three worksheets I created. And I'm going to use command button 2 to delete these three worksheets. So I'm going to go back into design mode up on the developer ribbon, double click command button 2 I'm just going to copy the code from command button 1, control C, and paste it, control V, under command button 2. But I will have to make at least a couple changes. The column has changed. So this is instead of column 1. These values are in column 3, so I'll change that. And I'm not going to add worksheets, so I won't be using this worksheets.add. 
Instead, this will be worksheets ws dot delete. So it'll work with just these two changes. Although you may want to make another change to not display the alerts that come up in Excel. So to demonstrate, I move over to the worksheet, move out of design mode. See we have these three worksheets down here. I'm going to click command button 2 and you see this warning comes up. Microsoft Excel will permanently delete this sheet. Do you want to continue? You need to click delete for each of the worksheets that will be deleted using the subroutine as it's written now. So I'll click delete, comes up again, click delete, and for a third and final time we get this warning. So to have this set up so that we do not have that warning coming up, I'm first going to add these three worksheets back by using command button one and then go back to the code. I just need to make two changes to the subroutine to turn off the display alerts and to turn them back on after the subroutine is complete. So before this loop, I'll add one line of code application dot display alerts equals false. And then after next, after this loop, but before the end of the subroutine, I'm going to copy that line of code, control C, paste it, control V, and change false to true. Moving back to the worksheet. So from before, when I hit command button two, we had those three warnings that came up, one warning for each of the worksheets that was to be deleted. When I click the command button now, all three worksheets are deleted with no warnings. I hope you found this video on programmatically adding and deleting worksheets in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.